In this video, I'm going to take you through a beginner's guide to the Bitflyer Exchange. And for more information on Bitflyer, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. Today, we're going to be covering Bitflyer Europe, and I'll show you how to deposit, buy and sell, and withdraw from the platform. But first, a little bit about Bitflyer. Bitflyer is a cryptocurrency exchange where more than 2 million registered customers currently buy and sell Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. It was founded in 2014 by Yuzo Kano, a former derivatives and bonds trader from Goldman Sachs. And Bitflyer Europe launched in 2018 and is a subsidiary of Bitflyer Inc. Their European office is located in Luxembourg and they operate an exchange platform for European traders to buy and sell virtual currencies. Bitflyer is the first cryptocurrency exchange in the world to facilitate operations in Japan, America and Europe. So users in Europe can get access to one of the largest Bitcoin markets in Japan while still using a European regulated platform. Japan is one of the biggest global Bitcoin markets with Bitflyer currently handling over 70% of JPY trading. And it can be great for the smaller investor or someone who's just getting into crypto. This is because you can get started with as little as one euro and you can buy with a credit or debit card, deposit using PayPal or wire transfer and purchase the most popular cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum and Litecoin. So let's jump into it. And to get started, you'll need to sign up for an account and I'll put a link in the summary below that you can use. To sign up, at the most basic level, you'll need to complete some basic KYC. However, if you want to have unlimited trading, you'll need to also provide photographic ID, such as a driving license or a passport. And this is something that I've personally done so that I can show you without any restrictions. Let's take a look at the home screen where you'll find the latest Bitcoin price, your Bitcoin and Euro balance, as well as each individual balance from here and some market data and information. And the first thing that I'd recommend doing is setting up your two-factor authentication just as an extra level of security. Once that's all set up, you have three different ways that you can buy your Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. First, you have instant buy allowing you to buy the likes of Bitcoin instantly with a credit card. There's a buy-sell option to buy using a bank or PayPal deposit. There's also Lightning for a pro option with more varied order types. And we'll come back to these shortly, as we're going to deposit, which you can do under the account funding from the left-hand side of the screen. With Bitflyer, you can deposit crypto such as Bitcoin, Ethereum or Litecoin which you can do using the deposit address shown here for the crypto that you're depositing, or you can do this using the corresponding QR code. And you can also deposit euros via bank transfer or deposit using PayPal. Now, because I'm from the UK, I did have a little difficulty depositing euros, and that's because I usually use Revolut, and it won't allow me to use that. I also tried TransferWise too, which doesn't allow deposits into cryptocurrency exchanges. Therefore, the method that I'm going to be using today is my PayPal account. And I'll say I want to deposit 100 euros. The minimum amount I can deposit is 10 euros. So it's a really great way for small investors or newbies to get started. Now, the transaction fees for PayPal are a little bit high at 4.9% and 35 cents per transaction. However, this is because you're really paying for that ease and that convenience. And the maximums that you can deposit into here will depend on the level of verification that you've gone through. But I'm going to be depositing that 100 euros now and I'll get 94 euros and 75 cents after the fees. You'll then want to agree to the terms and conditions and press onto the PayPal button. From there, you'll be prompted to enter in your PayPal login information and it states here that it can take up to three days. However, for me, it just took a few hours. So you can see that my transfer has now completed and I have an active euro balance. So let's see how we can start spending that and buy some Bitcoin on the exchange. And as I explained, there's three different ways that we can do this. 
First, let's take a look at the Instant Buy option. So with Instant Buy, you can purchase the likes of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash with a credit or a debit card. From here, you can select their predefined amounts or you can manually enter a custom amount. You'll then be asked for your payment method, which for me is only available as credit card. And they have a warning here, stating that if you want to withdraw your crypto, you will need to link your bank account with Bitflyer by making a SEPA bank transfer. And you can see your processing and transaction fees from here. Now one thing you'll notice here is the price, which states that you're going to be buying your Bitcoin at the price of 48000 447.67 euros. And 67 cents. However, the price of Bitcoin, as you can see at the top of the screen, is 47,267.37 euros. And 37 cents. So you're actually going to be paying more for your Bitcoin, and this is due to the convenience of paying for your Bitcoin in this way. So let's see if we can get a better price using the buy sell option. The buy sell screen here looks similar to the likes of the Coinbase exchange and it shows you what you can buy and sell at the top. And you can track the price of the highlighted crypto that you've selected over specific periods of time. You can set up alerts when the price hits specific values which are going to alert you by sounds and email. Plus you can also see the price and the price change as a percentage. Let's take a look at buying first and then we're going to look at selling and withdrawing a little later. When I click on to buy, it shows me the price that I'll be paying and I can enter in the amount into the euro field. In my opinion, it'd be really great here to have the option to select my whole balance rather than typing this in, but maybe I'm just a little bit lazy. So I'll enter in the amount in now. And again, I could proceed, but I'm not going to. As you can see, the price that I'm paying for my Bitcoin this time is 48,483 euros, which is more expensive than last time, but the fees are built into this price and the price of Bitcoin has risen also in the last couple of minutes, marginally. So lastly, let's take a look at Bitfly Lightning. This is the more advanced trading platform for Bitflyer with more advanced order types. And the first thing that I'll be doing is changing the settings from the left hand side of the screen here, as there are some sounds that might startle you a little bit when you enter the platform. But you can simply turn these off under the sound settings. Plus, you can also change the themes from this section if you like. Now, essentially, there's two different markets that you can trade for here, which are Bitcoin and Euros or Bitcoin and Japanese Yen. I have euros, so let's take a look at that market. You'll see your balance in the top right hand side of the screen here. Plus in the same way as earlier, we can also set up new pricing alerts. We then have some charting, which you can view over specific periods of time. Then you have your asks in red and your bids in yellow. There's a daily profit and loss. There's an order section and a trade history for all of the completed buy and sell orders going through Bitflyer. So let's take a look at the different order types now for buying and selling. And a limit order allows you to define the price that you'd like to buy or sell your Bitcoin at. A market order will execute at the best price available at that time and it's very similar to the buy and sell section we were in earlier. You have stop orders, which will place at the best available rate when the price hits a certain value. Stop limit, which will then place at the price that you define if the price hits a certain value. And this is really good to help to protect your losses. If you want to place a market order, you can simply enter the amount of Bitcoin that you'd like to buy and your fees will then show up here, which are minimal as you can see. But the order that I'm interested in is a limit order. With a limit order, I can define the price that I want to buy my Bitcoin at, which is great if you're not in a hurry and you simply want to wait for the market to reach your value. So I'd like to buy 0.002 Bitcoin when the price reaches 47,100 euros. And again, your fees will show here. 
and that works out to be about 19 pence. Once your order has been placed and it's not yet been filled, it'll appear under the Open Orders in the bottom left-hand side of the screen here. Plus, you'll also see it appearing in the yellow section with the Buy Orders. And you can also cancel an order if it's not yet been filled, meaning that if you make a mistake or if the market dramatically changes in the wrong direction, you can cancel and start and submit again. Which I'm actually going to do just to speed things up as the market has changed a little bit. So I'm going to submit a new order now with the price of 47150 Then once the market reaches that price, your order will then fill and display under the execution history, showing you the price and the fee here. So now we have our Bitcoin and the balance at the top of the screen now reflects this and I've bought this at the best price for me right now. And what you do with your Bitcoin now is totally up to you. You could potentially store it securely in the likes of a hardware wallet with access to your private keys. You could stake it to earn rewards or you can sell it. I'll quickly show where you'd go to withdraw it to a wallet before we go ahead and sell and withdraw. So let's head back to bitfly.com and on the home screen, we can see our active Bitcoin balance. But what we want to do is withdraw this. So if we head across to account funding and click on to withdraw BTC from the top of the screen, you'll see the amount of Bitcoin that you can withdraw. However, to withdraw crypto, you need to make one bank deposit so that they can verify your name on the account. And for crypto withdrawals, there's a flat fee of 0 0.0004. But I'm not going to withdraw. I'm going to sell now so that I can show you that process. And again, you can use the buy sell section of Bitflyer to sell your Bitcoin back to euros. And you'll be selling at 46,007 euros. But we want to make sure that we can get as many euros as we can for our Bitcoin. So let's head back to Bitflyer Lightning. Now this is to show you how to sell your Bitcoin and not to show you how much I can make trading. As I don't personally trade, I store my crypto and I hold it for the long term. Also, I've literally just bought mine a few minutes ago, so it's unlikely that I'm going to make any money here. So this time, we're going to be selling, so you'll need to select sell. And I'll be placing a limit order which I'd like to sell at 47,250, which is 1,500 euros higher than the price that I'd be selling at from the buy sell section. So when I submit my order, it then hits the ask section in red. And once it's filled, it goes into the execution history again. And it will show you the fees in here, which work out to be about 19 cents. So now that we have our euros again, we're going to go ahead and withdraw them. Back over on bitfly.com, let's go to account funding. I'll select withdraw euros. And to withdraw, you'll need to add your bank account information and unfortunately PayPal is not available. And you'll need to enter in your IBAN and BIC account details from there. Once that's all set up, you can then enter in the amount that you'd like to withdraw. Plus you'll also need to account for a 30 cent withdrawal fee for amounts less than 250,000, so we should be all right here. Or it'll be 10 euros for amounts above this. And it states that it typically takes between one to two business days to complete. So I've run into a bit of a problem with drawing from Bitflyer. Because I didn't have a euro account, I used my PayPal account to deposit my funds. But to withdraw crypto or fiat, Bitflyer won't allow me to withdraw unless I have a euro bank account. And I've tried TransferWise and withdrawing to my Revolut Euro account, but it's just been rejected and returned. Therefore, at present, I have very little options of how to withdraw my funds or crypto. And I personally don't think you should be able to deposit with a PayPal account if you can't withdraw to it. But if you do have a Euro account that is accepted, you shouldn't experience these problems. However, I wouldn't start off depositing with PayPal just in case. 
and I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.